Welcome to simpleroptions.com. My name is Don Kaufman. Here we are, October 1st, 2015. This evening, uh, I'm going to kick it off with the fact the markets were up, the markets were down, but tonight I'm actually looking uh, pretty much expressly at Facebook. So, you know, I like to talk a lot about the index products and so forth. And tomorrow morning, we're going to see the employment situation, okay? But I like to look at specific stocks where I play a game called it's whack-a-mole. And what whack-a-mole ultimately means is taking a look specific at Facebook over here. And what I kind of call whack-a-mole is these explosive kind of moves back to the upside after, if you will, Facebook just recently sold off, okay, the 96 level all the way down to the 86 level. Now, in that exact same time frame, in that selling period over here, okay, implied volatility also picked up. So we're gonna we're actually gonna look at implied volatility at the same time over here. So implied volatility kind of picked its head up inside of of the Facebook, and we got actually to fairly high volatility, about you know seventy third percentile. That's an implied volatility percentile, and that's kind of just a ranking where implied volatility is. But just in the last two days, a little bit of a rally kind of takes place over here. And what it ultimately does is I believe gives us an opportunity, okay, possibly late in tomorrow's trade to look to enter into a mildly bearish position inside of Facebook, okay? And in order to construct that position, I'm gonna take you through it here a little bit, okay? Obviously what I believe is this isn't a rally. This is what we call the bounce back. And that's why I kind of call it whack-a-mole. That's the game where the little moles pop up and you just whack them with the large mallet, okay? It was a friendly game that everybody enjoyed growing up and then you realize you're hitting an animal with a large mallet. Anyway, I uh, somehow transposed that to the markets and I call this like a whack-a-mole kind of trade. But it looks like uh, Facebook is one that's ripe to be faded and that means getting short into the rally. Okay, first and foremost, all right, Facebook, does it have earnings coming out? It does, but they're pretty deep into the future over here. When you start opening up like the 29-day expiration, you're going to see the volatility is substantially higher, okay? I'm avoiding, avoiding that. I want to stay away. Come on, stay away from the earnings announcement. Don't get cute. I don't want to wait 29 days. I'm actually going to use a 22-day expiration to get this trade done. And as such, I am not going to initiate this trade on the open tomorrow. The open tomorrow is gonna to be a free for all because the employment situation, order flow is gonna be chaotic. I actually think we're probably gonna rally, okay, off of it, but what I'm looking for is, it, and if you can't get the trade on tomorrow because we continue to rally throughout the course of tomorrow or we sell off early in the day, all right, Look for the trade again on Monday. You know, the great great thing about the markets, don't panic, they're gonna be open another day. I'm gonna use my quintessential risk a buck to make a buck kind of trade. And I'll point out why here momentarily. The fact of the matter is, to do the trade, I'm just gonna use, okay, you know, uh, a matter of a spread. I'm gonna buy the 92 puts. They are, quote unquote, in the money. I'm going to buy the 92 puts and I'm going to sell the 90 puts against it for about, you know, and we open up, it should be right around a buck, okay? So I'm going to risk roughly a dollar to make a dollar for the next 22 days. I will exit this position. It is a debit spread. I am buying a spread for a dollar. I will exit the position when I can make approximately 60 to 70% of the dollar that I'm risking. What does that ultimately amount to? It means if I take a buck of risk and I am willing to lose the full dollar, I'll be able to make about 60 cents, maybe 65, even 70 cents on the trade. Don't get cute. You got 22 days for this trade to work. To maximize profit potential, you only need to swear south of 90. Come on, Facebook can get below 90. No problem. If it doesn't get below 90 anytime soon, you got 22 days for that to work. Look for the trade out there again. You only want to make 60 to 70%. No stop orders, nothing like that. Risk the buck. And the reason is the probability at some point, at some point between now and 22 days from now, the probability of making 
the 60% is significantly higher than the probability of losing the full dollar. Thanks a lot, everybody, here for joining us at simpleroptions.com. We've got upcoming classes over here. One of those I don't think you want to miss. Simpler Options. Okay, dot com forward slash directional. This next class coming up, this is none other than Bruce Marshall is actually going to be doing this class. It's a beginner's guide to directional income trading in bear markets. It's about the big swings and volatility. It's about taking advantage of those. It's about putting on trades, okay, that really trap those moves and volatility. And ultimately, it's about trading and understanding which trades can take advantage of heavy volatility and which trades ultimately can not only negate volatility, okay, but be at risk because there's much more volatility. Recognize the last time we saw decent volatility in the markets, you're looking back to 2011, 2012, right? Lots of people are not aware of the type of trades to be most effective in volatile markets. Check it out again, simpleroptions.com forward slash directional. Again, thanks a lot, everybody here for joining us, simpleroptions.com. My name is Don Kaufman. Be back next week. Bye-bye.